वेलकम टू बट लैक्टो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेगुलेशन ऑफ दार्ट पंपिंग इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द रेगुलेशन बाय द इंट्रेंसिक कार्टिक रेगुलेशन बट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हार्ट रेगुलेशन थ्रू ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम इन विच यू विल सी दू सिस्टम सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एंड द Parasympathetic nervous system. In the sympathetic, that actually activates in fight and flight situation, and the parasympathetic actually reverses the uh, sympathetic nervous system. So, if you see in the presence of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, the heart pump effectively. This is the most important thing. Next thing, if you see in the sympathetic nervous system, cardiac output can increase up. to or greater than 100% this is the most important point and in the parasympathetic nervous system the cardiac output can be decreased to zero almost zero this point is very much important cardiac output means the ejections of the blood in just 1 minutes that is actually the cardiac output okay if we see first of all sympathetic nervous system that how sympathetic nervous system play an important role in the regulations of the heart so first of all if you see in the normal situation heart rate is 70 beats per minute that heart beats 70 times in just 1 minute that is actually the heart rate okay when the sympathetic play an important role in the regulations of the heart then the heart beat can increase 180 to 200 beats in just 1 minutes and in rare situation the heart beat can increase to 250 beats per minutes that in just 1 minutes heart start beating 250 times this is a very large number so actually due to the sympathetic nervous system okay stroke work output increased when the signal comes from the sympathetic nervous system okay due to the stroke heart contraction will also be increased that heart muscles contract with a stronger force in the presence of the sympathetic nervous system and when the heart muscles contract with a strong force then what will happen the cardiac output will also be increased and what about two to three folds increase cardiac volume output so it's mean that the due to the sympathetic nervous system you will see two important thing first is the increase in the heart rate and second is the increase in the contraction and ultimately volume output will also be increased okay so what will happen when the sympathetic we stop or inhibit this sympathetic nervous system if we inhibit the sympathetic nervous system then the cardiac pumping will be moderate okay so two most important thing what happens in the presence of the sympathetic nervous system and what happened in the absence of the sympathetic nervous system so in the normal situation in the presence of the sympathetic nervous system the cardiac pumping is 30% more this is the one thing and when there is no sympathetic nervous system then what will happen the cardiac pumping will be 30% low in the cardiac pumping you see two most important thing heart rate and the heart contraction these two most important things which should be on your fingertips okay if you see here that in normal situation here is the normal situation first upper line will show the normal situation and the second line will not be the normal line okay in the normal situation or in the presence of the sympathetic the cardiac pumping is 30% more but when there is no sympathetic nervous system the cardiac pumping will be 30% low this is the case next if we discuss how parasympathetic nervous system affect the heart pumping so if you see in the parasympathetic is strong parasympathetic nervous system the heart beat is stop just for a few second okay in the strong signal so actually nerve in the parasympathetic vagal nerve vagal nerve that is actually the 10th cranial nerve play an important role in the regulations of the heart especially in case of parasympathetic 
Vagal nerve also supply to the lungs, heart and the upper respiratory tract as well. So in the heart, it act for the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. But the heart compensate. Heart doesn't stop in the presence of the parasympathetic. For a long period, it will stop just a few seconds. And after that, it will escape or escape the signal of the parasympathetic nervous system. So, after that, the heart starts beating 20 to 40 beats per minute. And normal is actually the 70 beats per minute. So, actually, heart beat decrease in the uh, presence of the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. And after that, heart contraction will also be decreased. And what amount? 20 to 30 percent heart contraction will also be decreased. So these two most important in heart rate and the heart contraction. And heart contraction plays an important role in the regulations of the cardiac output. Okay. So if you see here that the vagal nerve, actually the 10th cranial nerve, that is actually supplied to the heart. So actually distributions of the vagal fiber to the atria is more as compared to the ventricle. So actually vagal fiber supply atria more as compared to the ventricle. So what will happen? Due to the supply of more fiber to the atria as compared to the ventricle, in that situation heart rate decreases. But there is almost no effect on the heart contraction up to a certain limit when there is a strong decrease in the heart rate then heart contraction can also be decreased but in normal situation when I, up to a certain limit heart rate decrease then there is no effect on the heart contraction because load vagal nerve actually play a role in the decrease in the heart rate and decrease in the heart contraction so in that situation more fiber provided to the atria so more effect will be on the atria as compared to ventricle what will happen let's go if i say that what will happen when lot of vagal fiber supply to the ventricle then in that situation cardiac output will also be decreased a large amount of decrease you will see in the cardiac output and that will affect the or patient can go towards the cyanosis so that's play an important role that's the nature provide the atria more vagal fibers as compared to the ventricle. Okay. If we discuss a cardiac function curve that how heart pump in the presence of these uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, system and we will discuss it through graphical representation. So on the x-axis we will take the right atrial pressure pressure in millimeter mercury and on the y-axis we will take the cardiac output in liter per minute okay so first of all first curve is if we see that we, with the incre increment in the right atrial pressure you will see the cardiac output will also be increased and this first curve is for the parasympathetic para sympathetic nervous system okay next is the same here with the increment in the right atrial pressure cardiac output will also be increased but this will be in zero, zero sympathetic, sympathetic system. Now the heart pump in the absence of the sympathetic, there is no sympathetic nervous system. Okay. And in the normal situation, sympathetic nervous system play an important role. So in the normal situation, sympathetic nervous system is also present. Then after that you will see cardiac output will increase. When there is a maximum effect of the sympathetic nervous system, maximum effect of sympathetic nervous system, then the cardiac output will be maximum. So if you notice that in the parasympathetic nervous system, cardiac output is low. And in the when there is no sympathetic nervous system, then the cardiac output will be high compared to the parasympathetic. When in the presence of the sympathetic nervous system, that is actually the normal situation, the cardiac output will also be increased. And when there is a maximum sympathetic nervous system, the cardiac output will be maximum. So these two most things, zero sympathetic and the sympathetic, compare with this one. Okay. Now, these are the four situations in which the
cardiac output is actually dependent on the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So this is all about the regulations of the heart pumping through sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. But still, if you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.